Now I've made an early start to Dan Skelton's powerful Warwickshire yard to catch up with former top jockey Noel Fahili, who's going to be riding out one of his own racing syndicate horses, First Lot. So the Yala Conti rallying again in the hands of Noel Feely and racing up towards the line. Silvinio Conti wins the King George. Myself and David were going to sit on when the penny drops and rigs this morning and see how they are. Dan is obviously very happy with them, but we like to sit on the horses ourselves as well, just to be able to relay back the exact information to the owners. I've roped Noel into jumping this morning and he's doing his best to get out of it. So uh, I'm looking forward to looking at Noel's face when we land off the third jump today. Well, Noel Feely, do you still have it? <laughs> Being able to sit on them is, is a massive key to our business because you get a true feel of a horse, especially when you buy them. And to be able to sit on them and have two people's opinion is better than just standing on the ground and looking at them. And, you know, hopefully we'll get it right more times than we'll get it wrong. Now, your syndicates are still fairly new. You've only been in operation for a couple of years, but already you've reached the 20 winner mark, so it's been a very good start. Yeah, it's been a great start. We've got some very good trainers, and we're buying horses that are progressive. We get a couple of seasons, you know, that's the target, two seasons of them, and if it's going well, continue with them. But they're a nice bunch of horses, and we're, we're delighted with them. We have lots of fun days out. We, we, it's not just about the day at the races. We like to bring people down to the trainers' yards, let them see the horses on the gallops. We'll have a trip to Ireland this year for all the owners, for Punchdown Festival possibly. It's all about keeping them well informed and, and keep plenty of fun. It's really exciting because you get to know the horses, you really care and invest your time and emotion and energy into getting to know their quirks and their personalities. And there's just no feeling like it of standing in that winner's enclosure and seeing your horse win. It's what dreams are made of. Everyone's dream, of course, is to end up at Cheltenham. Yes, exactly. We were lucky enough last year, come on Teddy, uh, finished tour at uh, the festival for us and um, you know, we had a taste of it and we'd like to have some more horses good enough to go there. That's the, that's the dream, to have horses good enough to you know, compete in big festivals. All our trainers have done really well for us. We've been very lucky that way and uh, they look after us really well. Noel and Dave, they're experienced horsemen, they've ridden in thousands of races. They know everything there is to know about the game, to be honest with you. So working with them is very easy. They understand the intricacies of horses, of training, of racing. Yeah, I mean, it, it's great. We, we've been successful, which is very important, I think. Yeah, real good team to be a part of, to be honest with you. You've already made a, a very successful start with the horses that you've bought. What's the ultimate aim for Noel Healy Racing? To be able to compete at all the, the big festivals, that's what we want to do. We want to be able to go to the Cheltenham's, the Aintree's, the Punchestown's, all them big, big meetings. We want to be going there and we want to be competitive going there.